Ramya Antony is a mom to a four-year-old little boy named Jude. She struggled with sleep training in her own home and decided to turn a negative into a positive. She enrolled in Center for Pediatric Sleep Management to face her fears. After completing the course, she sought out the support of another CPSM graduate and together they teamed up to teach Jude to sleep independently and through the night. She's now excited to start helping others. Ramya, welcome to the show. I'm so excited to have you here today. Thank you for having me today. Uh, so before we get started, tell us a little bit about uh, starting your family with Jude. What did that look like when he was teeny tiny? Uh, how was sleep from the beginning and how did that evolve as he grew older? Yeah, so Jude, it's always been a struggle, I guess, even like since he was born. He was five days late and he was only like five pounds and 12 ounces. So then you know, every, the doctors were concerned about his weight. So we had to feed him and I had struggled with breastfeeding and I was very adamant that I was going to do it. So, you know, but then like I would have to wake him up so often just because to get him the calories. So that kind of trickled, you know, as through maternity leave and, you know, it just was very hard. Sleep was just not, it was just hard. And, um, you know, in our culture, I'm, you know, it, from, my parents are from India. My husband's parents are from India. The culture is to co-sleep. Like everyone sleeps in the same bed. So we thought that was what we're going to do. So, you know, in the beginning it was fine. Like it was like, you know, our family, our babies there, everything was great, you know, but then, you know, as months go, he starts moving and kicking and, you know, and you get more paranoid and then I don't actually sleep. And then at the end of four months, you know, I had to go back to work. I get to function like a human and actually like take care of patients. And, you know, I had to, I couldn't like be sleeping and taking naps or whatever. So I like had to be on and it was just getting worse and worse. But then it was just also like, I had no energy to actually fight it. So I was like, you know, the circle that would not stop. And it was just survival mode. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, can definitely, uh, I hear that. I hear that from a lot of my clients that they want to make a change, but they're too tired to actually work on making that change. And then you're in this vicious cycle of yep. the same thing over and over yep. and over again. Uh, did you actually ever try to sleep train Jude or you just sort of were too tired? Um, we tried, like we had a crib, we had intentions. It just ended up holding stuff in it. Um, and we would put it, but he like didn't like it. And then even in daycare, they couldn't get when he was like a little baby, like under two, they couldn't get him sleeping in the crib. Like he was just like adamant. Like he's like, I don't know what this is. What is yeah. this? Um, so he just slept like on a sleeping bag cot thing. And that was good. You know, in daycare, of course, he slept for everyone. Like he was yeah. like perfect sleeper. But when it gets home, nope. <laughs> right. What do you think was missing uh, from your efforts to get Jude sleeping independently? I think it was knowledge. And then like um, my mom passed away like five years ago. So I didn't have like a mom to tell me what to do, I guess. Um, but my mom would tell me to co-sleep. And, you know, because when the, like my parents, when they had kids, they didn't have to go back to work. Right. So right. like co-sleeping made sense. Like it's like you would just be with the baby all day and that was your job and whatever. But I had to go back to work. <laughs> right. Yeah. I always say I think that like the reason for why parents really struggle with sleep training is they're either locking lacking information, as you said, or lacking support. And it yeah. sounds like maybe you were lacking in both of those areas. You didn't have the information that you needed to make a change and you didn't have the support, even if your mom was living, like you said, yeah. she probably would have told you exactly. just to bed share, right? So you, exactly. didn't, you didn't have anybody in your corner uh, guiding you or supporting you through making a change. I agree. And then like, you know, you have friends and other moms that like, everyone has their own each individual experience. So we can't judge people on what they go through and their kids slept. So like they can understand the struggle. Like, yeah. So that's hard to like relate, like they can be, have empathy, but they can't actually feel what I'm feeling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's fast forward, you know, about four years after Jude <laughs> yeah. was born, right? Uh, yeah. You and I connected in a Facebook group somewhere. I'm not really sure where we connected, but I know it was on Facebook. Were you looking for a sleep consultant or were you interested in becoming a sleep consultant? How did that all play out? I really actually don't remember. Yeah. So 
somebody had posted in a moms or family group about looking for a side hustle. And you mentioned about becoming a certified sleep consultant for um, toddlers and babies and stuff. I was like, huh, this is intriguing. Cause I've always wanted to do like, like have my own small business. And I, I've been struggling to find out what it actually was for like the last couple of years. Cause like, what could I do to help people? But I just didn't know what it was. And then I was like, well, this might be perfect because I am struggling with this. So let me see what this is about. And if I could actually learn from this and actually implement it in my own home, what a bonus. Yeah. Yeah. It was really exciting. I actually love enrolling people in the program, just like you, because, um, you know, you sort of became a convert a little bit, right? Like you were the one that had your child in your bed for four years and, and you enrolled in the program with the idea of like, I'm going to use this knowledge to work on it in my own home first, and then hopefully be successful and feel really empowered and prepared to help others, which I think really sets you up for like huge success in your own business. Because if you can say to your clients, I've done this, you know, I've, I've exactly. walked the walk. I I'm talking the talk and I can help you because I I've been through it recently. Right. Exactly. I think that that, I think that that's huge. So, so you went through the course. I remember actually, as you were going through the course, you were so excited to just work on this in your home and you were asking questions in the Facebook group. And I think I said to you, like, have you gotten to the sleep training portion yet? Just like, wait till you get there. You know, yeah. I didn't want you to jump the gun and get started before you had all of the knowledge, but you got through the course and you were ready to start working on this with Jude and you were feeling a little nervous, rightfully so, right? Yeah. This is this is a big transition. So I think I had suggested that you reach mm-hmm. out to our community, which I think is sort of one of our major assets is having this community where we all support one another. And I think you, what did you do? You made a post within the group yeah. asking for help. I what did that I, look like? I, yeah, I think we talked about, I was like, hey, I was like, what do you think about it? I was like, why don't you, and I remember talking, like talking to you about it. And I remember you saying, oh, why don't you make a post in our community and see if anyone would be willing to take you on like as a pro bowl client for, um, and to like, for them to practice, like it's a two way thing. Like they can practice and you can implement what you know. Cause like, I knew what I was doing. Right. But it was just like, I needed Having the that support. You needed the support. support. I mean, that's yeah. what we're all about, right? We are the support. So yeah. um, I posted, you know, in the Facebook page expecting like, you know, it would take a day or two. And then it was like, bing, 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 bing. Like, like everyone was so supportive. Like, oh my gosh, I would love to work with you. I would love to do it. Like there was, it was just an awesome community that everyone was like willing to help me out, build my confidence and then help my child, you know, obviously sleep but then also help build their business and their confidence. Yeah. Like a mentorship program. That's kind of how I felt it was. Yeah, exactly. And you ended up teaming up with Karen. Is that right? Yeah. Karen Winter. Yep. And which I actually think was the perfect fit because so Karen, perfect. <laughs> Karen is all about toddlers and preschoolers yes. and big kids. She yep. runs an in-home daycare and she's yep. like all about the, the toddlers and preschoolers. So I think it was really the perfect fit. Uh, what did that look like for her to support you? I imagine, I don't know, but I imagine she sort of took you through her client process, right? What did that look yep. like? Yeah. So we basically, you know, we would, she emailed me, we did the questionnaire, we had the phone call, we talked about expectations, you know, the possibilities. And we talked to, and like, she had, she sent me her whole plan and like, I would review it before talking to her, um, And then we talked about like a couple of scenarios of like what was likely to happen, you know, kind of like troubleshoot before it actually happened. And then as we started the process, she was on top of it every morning, even though she was in a different time zone would text. I would get that text from Karen. How did it go? How did it go? And she was there for like every celebration or every, like we had to pivot like a couple of times, but it was great because she knew like, okay, if that didn't work, let's do this. Okay. I think we should do this. And then it was very engaging. And so And then, I mean, it was kind of hilarious. We actually had our toddlers FaceTime and talk about sleep training to each other. That's really sweet. They were, they they were like, well, I sleep in my own bed. Well, I do too. And I mean, it was, it was hilarious, but it was amazing to have that support. And like, now we text like almost every other day just to like, I mean, we're done sleep training or whatever, but it was just a great 
great way to build my confidence, have her build her confidence. And and now you have a you friend know. and a colleague, right? Exactly. Exactly. It's like, it worked out so well. So. Yeah. I lo- It really was the perfect match. I don't think it could have gone any better as far as like Agreed. pairing you up with the right person. Um, were there any major takeaways from your experience working with Karen that you're like, oh, I'm going to do this in my business. I love the way that Karen does this. I'm going to support my clients this way too. Um, I think it's, I think it's probably what everyone does is just being there when you're say you're going to be there. I think that's like, you know, customer service 101, like she was there always responsive. And, um, and I, I enjoyed that, like, you know, we had to pivot or we had to accelerate, but she was ready for all those if, ands or buts. Yeah. How long did it take for Jude to sleep through the night for the first time? So we had originally before Karen, like we would start him in his bed, but we had to be in his room for him to fall asleep. And then he would end up in our bed like five hours later. But I think because we already had that step and then we, the, he probably like seven days, he finally got, he like slept the majority of the night in his own bed. Yeah. That's fabulous. I mean, you really made, you made a huge shift. I think in a relatively short period of time, which I think just speaks to a few things. One, it speaks to the fact that like our children are capable of this, you know, and, and they want to be sleeping. They want to be sleeping through the night and they just need to be empowered and they need to be, they need to see from us as parents that that we believe in them, right? Would you say that that yep. was a huge component? Oh, like, totally. You needed to believe it in order for Jude to believe yep. it to be true, right? I always tell my clients that, that like, if you don't believe that your child can sleep through the night, that like they sense that from you yep. and then they Agreed. don't think they can do it, right? So we yep. have to instill confidence in our children so that they believe that they can do it. Um, yeah. And I think Karen's really good at that. I think she's yes. really good at helping you to get to a point where you believe it's possible, right? Agreed. Yeah. I mean, it was just, it was so, it was just such a good experience. And the fact that like, I don't have to stay in the room for an hour till he falls asleep is like the mi- biggest win change in our life. Like kiss him. And, you know, one night during the sleep training process, like, Emma, I got this. And then I just walked out. I was like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, sure. He, and and I think this is a huge confidence booster uh, for you as a as a business person too. Exactly. Because you know I think that for someone like you who had a child in your bed for your entire parenting career, uh, to to actually make this change really does position you to support others at a really high level. Like you have the confidence now because you've oh, seen totally. it play out. Um, you know, I think back to when I started supporting families through sleep training, I actually had never had a toddler or preschooler sleep struggle because my own children were sleep trained at, you know, three or four months. So I never had a kid climbing out of their crib. I never had a kid sleeping in bed with me. So the idea of supporting parents through those types of struggles felt really out of my comfort zone. And actually my very first two clients were a six and a half year old (laughs) little girl who was bed sharing and a two year old that was climbing out of her crib. So like way out of my comfort zone. And I just think now you are so set up for success to support these toddler and preschooler families. I'm actually, it'll be interesting to see you support the infant families because it's sort of role (laughs) reverse, right? Like that probably, that might feel a little bit outside of your comfort zone. Exactly. uh, but everybody, everybody has that, right? We all have yeah. our, our, ex- our personal experiences that we bring to this work. And then we have our training that fills in the gaps and, yep. you know, I'm, I'm excited to see you support. Maybe that'll be your specialty too, right? Maybe you yep. will focus on supporting those that culturally uh, tend to lean towards bed sharing and, yep. and you'll support them through making those changes if that's what they're looking for. Right. Yeah, totally. And I think it's also just but we have a great community that will help you through what is not your comfort zone. And I think that's, what's awesome about the community that you created. Like, I mean, you know, in our culture, most parents probably want their kids sleep trained as soon as possible because both parents have to go to work and everything has to keep moving. 
And if, yeah, obviously toddlers are my comfort zone because I lived it, you know, but I'm excited to do in, I'm always about like, let me, give me the hardest cases and let me struggle through it. And I will get my confidence, i.e. my own son. Um, yeah. And then, but I know that we have a great community to bounce things off of if I'm unsure, but I have the training that to do it, but you know, it's always good to just have, you know, that yes, you're on me, you're thinking correctly. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, you can lean our, on our community yep. always to, to get exactly. that support that you need while you're supporting uh, families that are in situations that are maybe a little bit foreign to you personally. Um, yep. I, so I know that you're in the like very infant stages of your business, no pun intended. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, have you, have you set any goals for yourself? Anything that you're sort of looking to achieve in the first six to 12 months of business? Yeah. So I, I will be doing this, I guess, quote unquote, part-time, right? Like I actually, I love my full-time job, so I don't plan on. What is your full-time job? You never told us. I'm a nurse practitioner. Okay. So, you know, but I deal with adults in oncology. So totally different, but I have the background, like I'm a family nurse practitioner. Um, So I medically, I know all this stuff about the kiddos, but we don't get taught the sleep training stuff. (laughs) Yeah, sure. And I would like my goal, I think, you know, from the second half of the year, hopefully a, to start my business. And my goal would be to have two clients a month for the first six months. And then, I mean, depends how I can handle and depends what other things happen in life. Ideally, I think like four to five a month would be great. Yeah. I love, I think that that's really spot on and a really reasonable place to start. Yeah. Um, juggling two families a month, I think is really reasonable on top yeah. of a full-time job. It's manageable. Um, yeah. and then sort of slowly building on that as families start to refer you business, you know, hopefully you'll yeah. have lots of happy clients and they'll start sharing your name with friends. And, and that's how I think you're going to go from two to like three, four or five. And I think that right. that's absolutely doable with another full-time job. Um, yeah. So perfect. Uh, Thank you so much for chatting with me today. I'm so glad that we got to uh, get on this call to share your story and to highlight sort of what it looks like to to solve this, solve the struggle in your own home and then feel really empowered to help others. So thank you for taking the time to chat and I will see you in our Facebook group for CPSM students and grads. Thank you for having me. Have Have a good one. Bye-bye.